Hey, Greg here from Straight Down the Middle Pinball. I want to do something a little different today, man. We got a lot of videos. We're trying to touch on everything. And I got this new Ghostbuster machine here. And there's a couple of uh, protectors and a couple little lighting changes I want to do with the game. So I uh, figured I'd let you guys kind of experience it, show you a nice before of what it looks like lit up. Then, you know, kind of walk you through uh, just some of the small things I'm doing just so you can kind of see. And then show you hopefully a dramatic after effect. Um, and the change will be for a positive. Uh, I think it will be the things I picked are, are really cheap. <laughs> I'm always on a budget. And um, I think it's visually going to make a bang for your buck the best impact for the game. Uh, so let's go take a look at the things I bought. And then we'll take a look at the machine while uh, before we do anything to it. I'll walk you through everything and then show you that after. Okay, guys. So here we are with Ghostbusters all lit up. This is what the before looks like. Give you a good just scan here. Still a beautiful machine no matter what. So nice. Okay, now let's go take a look and see what, uh, what all I bought for. Okay, first thing I bought is I got this really nice, and I mean, this is something that you, you just cannot not have. Um, and I got this uh, very nice uh, deflector here. You can barely see it because it's clear. Uh, I got that from uh, Art on a pin side man. Uh, you got to have that ball deflector for when you go up that ramp back there because it, it, it comes off of those targets. It'll bounce off those targets and beat the crap out of your play field. So I ended up getting that guy to put on there. And uh, I think these are the biggest visual impact, man. I got these guys. These are the uh, the lane hop guards to keep the ball from from hopping those those uh, <clears throat> those in lanes there, because uh, sometimes they'll hop into that that out lane and drain on you. So I got I got these two guys to go on there, and visually I think that uh, they're gonna make the biggest impact that there is. Uh, also got a couple of uh, purple passion bulbs from Comet. If you guys have never seen these, I mean it is a dark, rich, beautiful purple. I'm um, so excited about getting some of those on there. And then I got a couple of um, just some LED strips for some different things. I'm going to light the drain hole. Uh, I'm going to light the storage facility. Uh, just a couple things like that. Just kind of add a little pizzazz. Change out a couple other bulbs to like that purple passion and stuff. Um, so let's go on and dig in and take a look at it. Um, first thing I want to do is do these lane guards. And I want to try uh, put in some of those purple passion bulbs. On there, so we got to take all these uh, these plastics here off. I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing that or not, but uh, I'm gonna do it for you. Actually, I already pre loosened a lot of these just to save some time. They're still hard to get off. Man, I hear so much hate for Ghostbusters, <clears throat> so much about the rule set and about everything going on. But I'll be completely honest with you. I have absolutely loved this game. And uh, obviously, uh, I'd loved it before I bought it or I wouldn't have bought the thing. It is extremely, extremely difficult, in my opinion. Even though uh, Dead Flip the, uh, the other night, man, <laughs> I think he put up something like $10 billion on it. It was some crazy score that I had. <laughs> it was just unfathomable. And he put up like a five billion score. There was a couple other things, man. So uh, kudos to that guy. He's pretty badass on it and um, just dominated, dominated that damn thing. It's so sick. I'm gonna switch this bit out and go to this. Uh, gotta go to Phillips to get the rest of this off of there. I'm telling you, this magenta. Some people go with the uh, the slime colored guards from Mod Father there, and I mean it, it's. It's pretty, don't get me wrong. I might not have to take that one off. I don't, oh, I don't want to take any of that off. Oh, how sick is that? That is so nice. I going to have to do more than what I thought. Okay, so let's put the first one on there. Oh, how does it go? How does it go? I'm going to assume we go like this right here. Look at that. just slips right on. Great protection. Slip this guy right back on top. Well, that was a hell of a lot simpler than what I thought it was going to be. Dude, that looks outstanding. I mean, when it's lit up. Oh, you know what? Uh, man, I about forgot. Let's pull this back off. 
I'm going to stick some of those purple passions down in there because that is going to be beautiful through that magenta. So just pluck that bulb out. Let's get this purple passion in there from Comet. Dude, and I, I can't say, I mean, we're not sponsored by Comet or anything, but I, I've got to tell you, like, Ryan and them, they shipped me these, I mean, they are so fast on shipping. I mean, it was absolutely crazy on shipping. Um, I just got here in no time. It was faster than anything I've gotten. They are always so good. Such a good product. Really good product. Okay, so got that passion in. I'm going to have to remove that post. Didn't want to do that, but... Oh, uh, well... Take it. Get my card a little closer. We're already at four minutes. I'm trying to make this quick so I don't bore you guys, man. I'd already had all this pre set up, but I didn't even think about that post having to come out of there. No big deal. And you know what? I um, may very well just completely do something wrong. So if I do, you guys call me out, man. Okay, I'll slap this guy on there. You know what, I want to give the inside of these guys a little wipe down. My fingerprints underneath there. Okay, slap that bad boy on. Uh-oh, okay, good. I was going to say, man, we're not fitting. Okay, screw this back. I'm going to leave the slings, that the white. That way there's some contrast. But we don't have a problem with that. Where's this one go? This one goes over here. Oh shit. Look, I already made a mistake. It's the only bad thing about me and pinball. Pinball, uh, when you're messing with a machine, is all about paying attention and tedious work. And I kind of jump the gun. I get too excited about things. And I end up uh, <laughs> having to take some stuff apart. I, I tore apart my lost world. And it's just plastic after plastic i mean just globbed on there with the ramps and everything man and i pulled the i pulled all that apart to uh put some new bulbs in there and stuff and man dude i'd miss a post here miss something there and have to pull it back apart and that's a game i don't really want to mess with again come on guy get in there So this right here is working good. It's not working good. I need my screwdriver. And one thing I think that uh, I've got to buy, I mean, just for anything, is a damn magnetic bit. I do not have a magnetic bit. It drives me freaking stupid. I need that so many times in pinball. Right there. Get this guy back on here. Okay, nothing I forgot. Everything looks good. We're gonna be hopping the lanes anymore. Don't have to worry about that. Where's my bit at? Here's my bit. Slap these guys back on here real quick. I haven't got the mod mini pinballs, man. Zach, that's all Zach does is mod the hell out of every game he gets. I just can't bring myself to do that. Um, but I thought these things here, they, they serve a purpose. And not only do they serve a purpose, but aesthetically, I think they're going to make a huge difference on the game. Which I'm super freaking ecstatic about. Um, and you guys be the judge, man. 
Um, when we end up, uh, when we're done here and we go to light it back up, let me know what you all think about it. Let me know if you think that it sucks or whether it was an improvement for the money. Um, I think these lane guards here were like 25 bucks from Modfather. Um, that Arts lane guard was like 20 bucks shipped, or the uh, ball deflector for up top was like 20 bucks shipped. You can't beat that. I need to tighten that back down where I loosened it. Oh, a bit. There we go. Cool. Okay, so there we go. We got our guards in. Let's take a look at them real quick. Pull that out of the stand. Look at that. And that looks pretty good like it is. Wait till it's lit up. Hopefully those, uh, those purple passions look real good down there. And then uh, that drain guard. So... Now let's go up here and we'll install the uh, the ball deflector. That way, uh, protect our play field a little more. Okay, here we are. Let's uh, get this uh, play field protector put on there from Art. Uh, I already took the the nuts off just to save a little time. So what I like to do is I, I I'm gonna go underneath this plastic. That way it makes it just a little more streamlined and a little less noticeable. And it's a nice plastic on that ball captive. So I'm gonna go up underneath there. I'm just gonna lift that plastic up. Slide it right underneath of there, right onto the post on the screws. Let's put this guy down over here. Uh, make sure that that there's a wire that you gotta be careful about that goes to that flasher. That I don't want to crank anything down on. Keeps wanting to hop out of there. Sorry, I'm in the way, guys. I just want to. Don't want that guy in the way. Such a horrible, horrible place for it. I guess that'll be fine. Okay, let's go ahead and put that nut back on. Put the other nut back on. We'll put a washer on. Put the other nut back on. And that thing, I mean, it literally installs in two minutes. If I wouldn't have problems with that, uh, that wire kind of poking out. And then we'll just we'll torque it down real quick. Try not to rest that bit on that plastic. I don't think it'll scratch it, but I've seen some of them that looks like it does. So I don't want to take the chance to run my beautiful plastics on my game so let's take a look at that guy man that thing is uh it's nice it's very unnoticeable you can't really tell it's there just nice look at that seamless does an amazing job does what it's supposed to okay let's see if we uh can't take care of this ball lighting trough down here we're gonna light this trough up purple Go ahead and run everything and then I'll kind of walk you guys through it. And also, uh, I pre-ran the uh, the wires for that, uh, that storage facility too. So you guys will have to see that. Okay, so here we are underneath that, uh, that apron. This is the first time I've ran uh, any apron lighting, so this might turn out like crap and look like turd. Uh, Zap will rip me for it, I'm sure, if I don't, don't put it on there right or I'm not putting it in the right place. Um, so I'm going to try to get it... I don't know whether it's better to come through the inside or whether it's better to come through the outside. I guess it's going to be easier to come through that inside. So I'm going to try to mount, go ahead and run an extension off of this guy. Oh, I'm having trouble getting this damn adhesive off. This stuff's crazy. But here it's just a strip light, man. Uh, it's Comet Matrix lighting. It's the easiest stuff in the world. You can either use alligator clips or you can use, um, go a little safer and use, let me actually, I'll show you guys here. I don't know if you guys can see these. Um, but you got to get these connectors like this right here that'll plug your matrix in that are awesome. Um, or you can use the alligator clips or you have actually, let me open up a pack. I bought the, these guys here because I feel really safe with these. These are nice. So instead of replacing an entire uh, GI, you just take these and plug these in. That way you still run one of your LEDs and be able to run some of your matrix off of there. 
that's just that's awesome for sure that way you don't have to worry about alligator clips uh, slipping off or anything and doing any damage um, I will probably end up alligator clipping these though I haven't decided yet I just got to get this adhesive back in off of here before it drives me stupid it takes me 10 minutes doing so so let's um let's try to mount this guy up underneath this apron hopefully it turns out good hopefully it turns out good but don't like i said i know zach will let me know about it man he'll let me hear it so um okay now let me get this play field raised up i'm gonna raise this play field up we'll change camera angles and that way I can find a nice place to clip into or find a, uh, a bulb that I can pull out that's inconspicuous to run that to. Okay, so here we are under the play field. Uh, sorry about any of the shadows. I had some good lighting rigged up and it was casting a really bad light when I pulled the play field up. Um, but right here is a hole right beside the cylinder. This solenoid right here is the one that goes to the storage facility that kicks the ball out. And right beside it up under some plastics is this nice big hole to feed anything down that you want to. So I just ran the lines out of that and clipped right into the GI bulb that's right next to there. Um, as uh, for my... Uh, my trough lighting, I ran this line down, and what I'd like to do is I'm gonna pull this bulb out and do one of those other matrix bulbs. Hopefully it'll fit down through there. I haven't ever done one of these sterns, so I don't know whether there's gonna be room for the line or what kind of problems I'll run into. Um, again, sorry for that bad shadow. I can try to come around to the other side and do some stuff. Let me get this bulb out and see if we've got enough room to uh, run this guy and the lines that up through there and that's the only problems that you can have so what i'll do you guys see that bulb there i'll just take that bulb out and i will try to mash this guy i'll just put this bulb in there's that nice matrix connector on there put this in and then what the thing is you got to try to get it down in there Oh, fits fine. Good, 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 good. Glad to see that. Um, then just let me I gotta find my screw. I lose more shit when I'm doing stuff. I swear, I'll never find that damn screw. Oh, there it is. Found it. So bad about that. So bad. Oh, and then I dropped it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get this screw back in here, and then we'll just plug that matrix clip in. And we will have all of that done. Uh, there we go. Hopefully that bulb's bright enough. I think that's the only thing is I think that those guys are um, just um, one SMD. And so you don't always get the brightest that light output from it, but eh, hopefully it'll it'll do its thing. I'd like to run this in a different place and get it away from that cylinder. Let's plug this in. Okay, we're in. I'll get something later and tie that guy up. So let's um, let's put the play field down. I got a couple other bulb changes. We got all that in, and then as soon as I do one or two other bulb changes here in the back, we're gonna light this damn thing up and see what it okay, looks so like. There's the back, and there's just uh, what five bulbs back there: red, white. It's alternating red and white, and gives a pretty cool pattern. I actually uh, I don't mind it too much, but I'm gonna throw some regular purples in there. And the reason I'm going with the regular purples instead of uh, the purple passions is I, I like that I want more of a white look back there. Um, and I think that I've kind of pinpointed the bulbs I want to go with. I'm going to replace this red over here in the corner. See what it looks like with a regular purple in it. And then, man, I kind of like that red behind the, uh, the city building over there. It kind of gives a different effect too. Um, but you know what? Let's let's try purple over there. Should we try purple over there? D 
damn it, I don't know where I want to go with the purple. Maybe we go with a purple where that white is, but no, nah, it's too much purple. Yeah, let's get rid of that red over there and let's try a purple behind that and we'll we'll darken those uh maybe darken those corners up a little bit. Is that a good idea or a bad idea? Oh man. What do we do? I'm gonna do that one. Let's do it. Fuck it. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, sorry camera, I'm gonna get in your way here. Okay, so let's push this play field on back in. Let's light this damn thing up and see what it looks like. You guys ready for the big unveiling? See what it looks like? I'm excited. Are you excited? Here we go. And here it is. Oh, man, look how gorgeous that thing looks. That purple trough lining. You got the purple passion bulbs over there. We get those inlane guards, keep that ball from hopping. That looks gorgeous. Come over here, we put that nice little red LED strip above the storage facility. It looks great. Come back here to the back. Now, one thing that I did do was I ended up switching out the one purple that we put over there to the left. Um, I switched that guy out and put it back a red. It just it washed those buildings out too much. It was just too much purple. But I did leave the purple back there where Stay Puff was. And one thing else that I did that I didn't show you guys was I put this nice little purple bulb in right here in the place of, uh, there was a bright red one there. It was just, that purple was a little softer on the eye, I thought. But man, this thing, I think it turned out gorgeous. Look how freaking great that looks. I mean, especially the lower portion of the play field is outstanding. And I hope you guys thought it was a vast improvement. You know, write us here on Facebook, write us on uh, YouTube, let us know what you guys think. Be sure to subscribe to us here on YouTube and like us on our Facebook page. Thank you guys for watching. This is Greg from SDTM Pinball.